With each new season, you're faced with new challenges that require a bit of power acquisition to take on and season 11 will be no different. Now, the idea of this video today is to help you level up in the fastest way possible. And in order to do that, you first need to be aware of three power caps that are going to be in place as of next season. Now, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content. Be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now, with seasonal drops providing a boost of 50 to our power cap, it's likely that the new season will also provide an increase to our power, taking us up to 1050 as a power cap, but also 1060 for our pinnacle cap. There could also be a new soft cap of 1000, which would be consistent with the increase that we saw from last season. Now, once players reach the new soft cap of 1000, the only way to increase your level further is by earning powerful and pinnacle rewards. Now Bungie introduced new ways to earn pinnacle rewards last season and will likely have a few additional sources this season as well. There was a mid-season update in season 10 that added Crucible, Strikes and Gambit as pinnacle rewards and these have been added to the original sources which were Nightfalls, Raids, Iron Banner and Trials of Osiris. So keep an eye on the new activities coming this season which may provide additional sources of powerful and pinnacle rewards. Now learning which sources give you what power is key to the fastest and most effective leveling. The vast majority of activities you choose to play will drop loot and that loot will be a steady increase until you reach the new soft cap thought to be 1000. And you can start to play Destiny 2 however you like in order to level up initially. In terms of some of the ideas, that can include blue and purple engrams, which will draw from pretty much any enemy. Some of the previous and most popular choices of activities have been public events, lost sectors, strikes, and even the crucible. However, with the first week of season 11 taking place on the Tangled Shore, there is a 24 hour farm which we can use to do this solo and quickly and reach any new soft cap that may be introduced. This comes in the form of the Rifleman. This is an adventure that is available to everyone by the heroic adventure this week as part of the Flashpoint. Firstly, to utilize this, we're gonna need an Izanagi's Burden and specifically one without a catalyst. If you already have one with a catalyst like I do, you can head over to your collections and pull one out. All you need to do is not equip the catalyst and you should be good to go. Now you can pair this with any energy weapon of your choice. However, you'll most definitely need a grenade launcher equipped as well. And this will be super beneficial once we reach the final encounter. In terms of classes, this can be done on any class in the game. You'll just need a grenade that ticks over time. Something like the pulse grenade or the vortex grenade should do the trick for us here. Once you are good to go, head over to the Tangled Shore and load into the Rifleman once it's available. Please be aware that heroic adventures are only available for 24 hours so be sure to make the most of this when it is available however if it isn't then you'll need to utilize other activities we previously mentioned in this video till this adventure comes in rotation once you load in you'll want to work your way through the adventure as you normally would as you're working your way through though be sure to hold on to as much special ammo and power ammo as you possibly can better still add a special ammo finisher and heavy ammo finder mod to your armor to help ensure you have regular and consistent drops. Once we reach the final room, we are good to go. And once here, there are two holographic riflemen we first need to take out before the true rifleman makes themselves appear. Now the holograms can be great sources for different types of ammo as well. So be sure to take the time to collect this if you need to, to top yourself up in this room. Now, once you've taken out the holograms, you'll want to hit the rifleman with two honed edge shots. Even with the change to the reload speed on Izanagi's Burden, you should have enough time to take both of these shots and hit the rifleman twice in the head. And be sure to throw either a pulse grenade or vortex grenade over to the left hand side of the pillar, as this is where the rifleman will spawn. Now, depending on the burn, you can either use your grenade launcher to kill yourself on the rock here as I am, or better still for greater consistency, run up to the rifleman and shoot him with your grenade launcher at point blank range. Now you'll know you've been successful as you'll see Glimmer on the right side of the screen but also a legendary engram will drop. Now as we've taken ourselves out we'll now respawn into the area and we are free to rinse and repeat this process. Every engram that will drop will provide a small increase until you reach the seasonal soft cap and also remember to pick up your loot otherwise it may stop dropping higher power levels if the loot isn't in your inventory. Now a key thing to remember is that at the start of a new season you'll get a new season pass and while this will provide many levels of XP and materials along the way, there are a few things we should bear in mind when utilizing the new pass. Now in the first instance, if you're on the premium track, under no circumstances do you want to grab this pack initially. Whilst this provides a nice 20% buff on your XP that you'll earn, this also provides a full set of armor. 
And whilst that's nice to have, it won't be the most optimal way to increase your power. You'll want to pick this up when you reach or are close to the new powerful cap just before you start pushing towards the new pinnacle levels. Now powerful gear is broken up into different sources and some provide two to three increases in your power whilst others will provide three to four. Now to maximize your gains you'll want to start with the lowest power increases first and work your way through the activities completing each milestone as you go and this will start with things like the flashpoint nightmare hunts the lunar's calling which is the lectern of enchantment quest as well as completing eight bounties for any of the tower vendors now for pinnacle rewards which can provide three to four power increases this would be anything on the core activities playlist such as vanguard strikes gambit or the crucible even the pit heresy garden of salvation and the weekly moon story mission as well as clan vendor bounties all provide huge gains in power a few other non-tier powerful gear sources that would drop as you play are things like prime engrams and exotic engrams and a handful of one-time powerful sources such as exotic quests that you may have outstanding now with a new season we're likely to see new activities and as such bear in mind that new activities there is a chance that the first completion of each activity each week will potentially offer a powerful reward as well so using this in combination with all the current power sources that we know of is an excellent way of increasing your power level also certain activities have a greater chance of different types of weapons and armor than others so if you're looking for a specific armor piece for example then the pit of heresy is probably your answer However, if you're looking for an energy weapon, then the Garden of Salvation is your calling. Now, if you have more than one character, the key thing to do is to complete all your milestones on one character first. Once you've completed all those, you'll simply want to move over your weapons to your next character and repeat the same process. It will help you maximize the powerful rewards across all your characters before jumping into the pinnacle grind. Now, some of the most challenging and time consuming activities in the game will often require a fire team, but they offer pinnacle rewards for example the garden of salvation raid from year three will provide many pieces of pinnacle gear as well as the pit of heresy dungeon master nightmare hunts as well as the nightfall ordeal when you achieve a score of 100,000 or more and finally once iron banner becomes available again you'll have a chance to obtain four pieces of pinnacle gear so when it comes to the most effective power leveling you want to make sure that you always start with your weakest guardian first so the one that you want to run trials with at the weekend or take into the new grandmaster nightfalls is the last one you want to be running activities on much like the powerful grind the pinnacle grind is very similar you will want to complete every activity available on each character gradually transferring weapons over to make sure your next guardian is more powerful than the last finishing for your most used guardian so there we have it that's a breakdown of how to go about the most effective way to level your power in season 11 and also break down the soft cap the powerful cap and all the activities included within the pinnacle cap for the up and coming season as with any new season be sure to take enough breaks drink plenty of water throughout and though it's very tempting to go long and hard into a new season make sure that you're taking enough rest to make sure you don't wear yourself out now if you have enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel and if you are new around here i want to keep up to date with all the latest destiny 2 content be sure to hit subscribe as well i'm going to jump back into the game as always guys but i will catch you all again very soon